All of the sea has fascinated man down the centuries. The seaways have taken him to strange lands and strange climes. Today, officers of the Indian Merchant Navy proudly sail our ships into ports all over the world. To make sure the sailor sails safely without damaging the cargo or the crew, a proper level of training is required because... The modern seafarer doesn't have a simple sailing boat to manage. He must learn to operate an ocean liner, a massive and complicated product of science and technology. To take care of the professional training of the cadets, the Great Eastern Institute of Maritime Studies provide a lot of facilities to train the future mariners. One of them is the state-of-the-art fully functional ship simulator. And in this video, I will try to give you a brief tour of the ship simulator. And towards the end of the video, we will look at its cost. How much a ship simulator costs in India? So let's get started. What are you gonna ask This is the front view of the simulator from where you can see the full view of the ship. Coming to the steering console, first we have the steering wheel. Then we have a gyro repeater which is just an electronic version of modern compass. Then we have a control panel from where you can switch to different steering mode such as autopilot etc. Just above the view screen, we have two screens. The first one is the rudder angle display and the second screen is a combined display to show the various data from different sensors of the ship. So just like a real ship, we have three fully function consoles. On the right side, we have a radar. We all know what radar is used for. At the center, we have a coning control, which is used to control the movement of the ship. Just below that, we have an alarm panel with a lot of alarms. On its right side, we have ship sound signals, which is basically a horn for the ship. So, more to the right, we have a telegraph, which is used to control the speed of the ship. To the left, we have the bow thruster control, which is located in the front part of the ship. So, our third console is Agdis, which is a substitute for paper charts. You can understand it as a Google map of ship. On the right side of the Agdis, we have a VHF set which is used to communicate between ships during emergencies. So, this was a basic overview of the simulator. Out of all the screens I have showed you, each one of the screens can be programmed into different equipment as required by the particular exercise. So, next, let me show you how the simulator looks in different weather conditions and different conditions as the instructor to check the cadet and his response during the exercise. First one is normal bad weather. We can also switch to different parts of the ship to have a clear view of the ship. Second up, we can see a rainstorm. It also matches the sound which is created during a rainstorm. Coming up third is the collision situation in which the officer must have a thorough knowledge of rules of the road. It is really important to train officers to navigate at night and you can also see that all the instrument changes to night view as soon as the night occurs. Coming up last and my truly favorite is ship in storm. It is very necessary to train officers to take proper and effective actions when they are in these situations because these situations can create a matter of life and death for the crew. So now you understand how cadets are trained in simulators. Apart from a simulator, we also have Agdis lab. So in the Agdis lab, we learn the basics of Agdis, which is very important nowadays. Each table in Agdis lab consists of a radar set, a coning set and a radar module, which really helps the cadet to get familiarized with new Agdis system so that he don't face any problem on board ship. So hope you enjoyed this video. Towards the end, let's discuss how much the simulator costs. For this video, we will calculate everything from the cost of building the place, uh, installing the simulator, training the instructors, and buying out maps and instructor manuals and other miscellaneous expenses. It would cost you between 2 crores to 4 crores just for the simulator and the Agdis lab. So thank you for watching 
and also if you want to see some more documentaries as i have used in the intro i have four videos on dufrin which is india's first merchant navy training vessel so thank you for watching